until we begin to treat them with respect as capable members of our community, as capable members of our community, as the Prophet ﷺ did in treating the companion who was blind, Abdullah ibn Ummi Maktoum, he appointed him as the Mu'addin for Salat al-Fajr. Salat al-Fajr, when you need to see when dawn breaks, the Prophet ﷺ appointed a blind man to call that adhan. And he also, on no less than 13 occasions, left this blind companion in charge of Medina when he had to travel. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 13 times. You might think one or two times just to, you know, just to show that he appreciates the guy. But 13 times, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam did this. This is not by chance. This is not a fluke, brothers and sisters. This is the, the sincerity of the Prophet alayhi salam. This is coming from the, as we say, the depth of his heart. That he truly saw this companion as a capable member of his community. And he demonstrated that to the Sahaba and to all Muslims. Not just by speaking, but more important than that, by doing. So he appointed him to call the Adhan. He appointed him to be in charge of Medina. Until we can treat our brothers and sisters with disability, with this kind of respect and equal opportunity, we are going nowhere as a community.